Hello and happy Friday. And for those of us who are in the Vale Valley, most of us have spring break. So woo! Um, hey, I wanted to talk to you about a little something I was thinking about. And I know that I'm not a resolution maker. Um, and the reason why is because I think resolutions are silly and they make you feel guilty. So instead, I like to make goals. But what I was going to tell you about is the fact that we all make these resolutions, goals, whatever you want to call them, in January. Well, maybe we make them in December, and we say, oh, we're going to start January 1st, right? Kim, hey, girlfriend. Um, and we say we're going to do them, and then January 1st comes around, or 2nd, and we're like, woohoo, we're going to do it. January 14th comes around, and maybe you start to fall off a little bit. <laughs> and then by the end of January, hey, Alex, you're like, oh, crap. I totally crapped out on my resolutions already. And what I'm saying is, that's not a big deal, <laughs> okay? So whatever happens in January stays in January. Move forward in February. Um, and the reason I wanted to tell you guys about this is because on G uh, February 20th, I'm starting a new accountability group, of which Kim is a part of. Um, and I'm super excited about it because my January ladies rocked it. Oh my gosh, I had one person lose 10 pounds in 12 inches. I had another lose five pounds. I had one who hasn't worked out in ages get back to it and actually start enjoying exercise. And all of these people, I know, right? And all of these people actually started eating better and feeding their bodies better and sleeping better. And this is a big deal, you guys. So I have an accountability group that's starting up on February 20th, and I wanted to invite anybody who's interested. So let me tell you what it involves. So we have our exercise component, which generally is anywhere from 20 to, to maybe 35 minutes a day of exercise, okay? And you get a day off, of course. And then we have drinking a load of water to clear out your system. And we have our um, eating plan, which is just portion control, plain and simple, and clean eating, nothing else. No extra weird foods, no gotta go buy certain foods. No, it's just filling portion control tank containers, cute little portion control containers with, um, that was Mary, I think, <laughs> um, with your food and then dumping it out on a plate and eating it. And guess what? You get to eat five times a day. Wait, it gets better. You also get to drink wine and eat chocolate. What's not to like, okay? That's the eating plan right there. And the majority of us consume a vast amount of superfoods in a little shake that tastes like dessert. So if you have a chocolate fix and maybe you've already had your chocolate for the day, then you drink a chocolate shake later on. And let me tell you, you don't need anything else. The Girl Scout cookies, you won't want them. Your cravings start to go away, your body feels better, you have more energy, and you're super excited at the changes that your body's making, and they continue to make changes. And so I just want to encourage you that if you fell off in January, or even at the beginning of February, because it's still the beginning of February, it's not a big deal. Let's just start now, and let's do it together, because really, the accountability and the support of more people in a group together makes all the difference in the world. And I know that some of my ladies could tell you that, that you know the support of the group is huge. And that's kind of how we get through it. That's how we get through the hard days that are, um, that are tough and that maybe we don't stay and we don't stick with what we do. And that's okay because we've got a support network behind us. And on top of that, um, when you have great days, there's a whole big group of ladies cheering you on. So, you guys, it's a good opportunity to not give up on what you wanted for the year and start over again. So I'm here for you. Christy Lippert, hey girlfriend, I'm here for you and I would love it if you'd join me. So just comment below and we can start chit-chatting a little bit more about how it works and if, it, if it's a good fit for you. All right, you guys, have a great Friday and if you're headed off to, good morning, Miss Holly. If you're headed off to somewhere fun for your spring break, then have safe travels. And when you get back, let's talk. Bye.